Hello, hello, my dear friends. How are you? This is Tamara Weeks with Tam's Daily Vlog, and I want to show you my favorite pens and my paper. I love papers. I love color paper. I love color pens. I love notebooks. I love boxes and containers, but I left all those out. It's just paper and pens, and I'm going to show you how I take notes, which is not very good. Maybe you have some tips for me. Okay, so I have these really cool, cool pens. I think these came in a package of 12. These are Sharpies. I don't use Sharpies a whole lot, but I love markers, I love pens, and I love different colors because I love variety. So when I was shopping with my kids, I found these. I think these were on clearance for like three bucks. And I've never had a whole package of colored Sharpies and I'm super, super excited. Okay, so then I got a package of these. These are maybe not all the same. Yeah, these I think these are all the same package. They're all the same name. So I have all of these. These are all colored pens, and I love colored pens. And I got paper. And I wasn't sure what paper I was going to love, so I bought a bunch of paper. And then I came home, and I loved it all, so I kept it all. Okay, so this is a notebook that I have from when I was in college. I had to quit college because of my head hurting so much. This is me and William, my wonderful husband, 25 years. We took our picture on here. Okay, so I ended up getting, I've never gotten this before. It's neon blue, neon yellow, neon orange, neon pink, and I'm absolutely in love with this paper. And then I already had these from school, too, that I don't think I ever used. Some dividers, and that way I can divide my colors up, but then I have control over it because I have this other notebook that I won't ever get any more of these. It's really nice, but they're like $8 brand new and I got it on clearance. It covers up the binder, just looks a little bit nice, but it's flexible, you know, so that's kind of cool. But the problem is, you can't move, it's a spiral notebook and you can't move the dividers that are in it. And you don't have that much paper in between, so I was actually using this when I was in a video lab for YouTube. Uh, learning about my, learning how to, um, learning how to make my YouTube channel better. It didn't have enough room in between, and then I would, so anyway, it's not as organized as I wish it was because it didn't have enough dividers. So, with this one, I can put the dividers right where I want to. So I'm super, super excited. I love the paper. I didn't think I was going to love it as much as I do because it's neon, and I kind of like pastel a little bit better, but I'm actually loving the neon paper. So I got this one. It's a different kind, you know, because you can, you can move it over here. Um, my good friend Much, hello Much, how are you? Much did this video, excuse me, did a video where she had, um, she had this really big, big, giant art pad, and she was writing all her different ideas on there, and Much, you feel totally free to put that link below, and then I will put it in the description if you add it into the comments. So, um, so this is kind of the idea of that. It does have lines on it. I love the idea of using the art pad because it's completely open and free and you can do anything you want. And I kind of like being all over the place. This is kind of how I take notes. Okay, so this is a discharge paper. Micah, our oldest daughter, has hives. She's on day four. This was a discharge paper from the hospital, but it was close by. On the same day, she went to the hospital with hives on Sunday. Lauren wrecked my car. So there's information on here about talking to the insurance company a couple times, and then I had to talk to the uh, rental car place today. Just got a rental car. And so I, so this is um, written this direction, and this is written this direction, and this is written this direction. So I've got all these different directions where I wrote notes on my paper. So like this is sort of, um, sort of all going the same direction. But I have different inks, and I print, and I write in shorthand, and I write in cursive. So I do a lot of crazy things when it comes to taking notes. This is what it looks like when I'm really trying, when I'm just doing one solid thought. These were notes to take to the doctor that I left behind. And I don't usually even take notes to the doctor. So this was kind of a, of a funny thing. This was just a, a to-do note that I did. So... I had to make this phone call, and it was in it was in the notebook. So I like to tear out things, and I like to try to keep them in order. I like to do all kinds of stuff when it comes to taking notes. Um, most of the time, I can find what I need. Okay, so here is a typical thing where I've written a lot of stuff all over. But what I do is I will leave the back open so that I can take some 
random notes. Like somebody calls on calls me on the phone, and I've got this where it was important, but I've got this over here where I can jot something down that came on the telephone. So I'll leave these open. So if this is already open, then I've already got this ready, and I don't have to figure out where I'm going to write it. But something funny happened a couple of weeks ago. I had a bunch of notes scribbled over here, and I had to return a phone call. So I scribble it right here, and then I draw a line with an arrow over here, and I tear this paper out like I did this, but it didn't have the phone number on here. It was on here, but I remember where it was, so I was able to go back to it. So I'm really random. I've watched a lot of videos, read a lot of articles about organizing notes, and I use Evernote. My Evernote's an absolute mess, so if you'd ever like to come to my house and help me organize my Evernotes, that'd make me so, so happy. I would love it. So, that is my story of how much I love paper and colored paper and colored pens and how I take crazy notes. So, please comment below, and if you have a great idea, a great tip for me, or just something that you love, I would love to hear from you in the comments. Again, this is Tamara Weeks with Tam's Daily Vlog, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.